or giraffe species. This topic has been a great source of disagreement as historically giraffes were identified as being one species containing nine subspecies, which went as follows. But recent studies conducted by the Giraffe Conservation Foundation found that they were actually four separate species. This study conducted the first ever DNA sampling and analysis of all major populations of giraffes. Please don't forget to check the description for sources and credits. Please consider subscribing and if you are already subscribed, I appreciate you very much. Comment your opinion and thoughts on the topic in hand. Let's get to it. First up, we have the northern giraffe containing three subspecies being the Nubian giraffe, Cordofan giraffe, and the West African giraffe. The range of the Cordofan giraffe includes southern Chad, western Sudan, and northern Cameroon. It's estimated that approximately only 2,300 individuals survived in these war-ravaged countries being only about 20% of the former population. Being classified as critically endangered, the Cordofan giraffe spots are pale and irregular being void of any pattern on their lower legs. The Nubian giraffe occurs in different numbers throughout places like western Ethiopia, eastern South Sudan, Kenya, and Uganda, with an estimated population of around 3,000 individuals. Although not fully concrete due to the fact that unknown populations in Ethiopia and South Sudan exist, but based on the rate of decline, the Nubian giraffe has declined 95% over the past centuries. The Nubian giraffe having large rectangular and chestnut brown patches, bordered by creamy white, and like the Cordofan giraffe, having no markings on their lower legs. The West African giraffe being found in an isolated pocket of East Capital Naimi, only about 30 years ago there were less than 50 individuals remaining. But thanks to the Nigerian government, they stand about 600 strong at the moment. West African giraffes are noticeably lighter, having tan color, rectangular patches. Next is the Maasai giraffe, ranging across Central and South Kenya, Tanzania, and in smaller populations in Northeast Zambia and the Akaraga National Park in Rwanda. Formerly the most populous giraffe, with 71,000 individuals dwindling down to 45,000 individuals in a span of three decades. The Maasai giraffe being noticeably darker, having larger patches that are dark brown with vine-shaped jagged edges surrounded by a creamy brown color that continues down to their legs. Further information is required to establish whether thorny crop giraffes are genetically identical to the Maasai giraffe or if they should be classified as a subspecies. Third, we have the southern giraffe with the two subspecies that make up the southern giraffe species making up 50% of the continent's total giraffe population. One subspecies being the Angolan giraffe with ranges included in central Botswana, Namibia, and various areas in Zimbabwe. And unlike the other giraffes already mentioned, the population has increased from 5,000 individuals to over 20,000 strong. Angolan giraffes are relatively light colored, having large, uneven, irregularly notched brown patches surrounded by a pale cream color with their lower legs being randomly speckled. The second subspecies being the South African giraffe occurring in eastern Angola, northern Botswana, southern Mozambique, and parts of Zimbabwe. As noted earlier, the southern giraffe has a very healthy population in terms of numbers and South African giraffes are no different with the current population estimated at around 29,000 individuals. South African giraffes have star-shaped patches in various shades of brown surrounded by a light tan with random speckles on their lower legs. And last but not least, the reticulated giraffe with an estimated 15,000 individuals left. A decline of over 50% in the last three decades. Reticulated giraffes have a somewhat limited distribution across northern and northeastern Kenya and even smaller populations in southern Somalia and Ethiopia. In my opinion, reticulated giraffes are the easiest giraffe to identify, having rich orange brown patches being clearly defined by streams of white lining that follows their legs all the way down. That's going to do it all for today. Please feel free to drop your feedback or comment on this video. This is Ana Monero. I truly appreciate you for watching. Until next time.